Alright, here we go. I guess we're going down. Amazing. I'm not sure where this is. I, d I didn't seem to go down, I just went forward, right? So, how did I. Or is this like a Jedi trick? This. Yeah, get ready. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. Oh, that it. Good. Yeah, it's a big job. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. I figured that out. You know, I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. <laughs> Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some uh, friends of mine? What friends? Okay, all right, so we can go to Zepho. But there was a, a further test, right? In here. On the further test. Oh, I've got to go to the Zepho first. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so the friends, I guess, are, are Seer and the captain on the on the ship. Let's go and see. Yeah, it is just sort of through a hole. Weird. I mean, cool, but weird. Where am I going? What am I doing? Can I? Is there a fast travel back to the ship? I don't have to get all the way back there, right? The planets use the hollow table on the mantis to go to other planets. Man, that's so cool. I, I I can't see any way to travel fast. Did I miss something, maybe? I think I found what you wanted me to see. Mm, Sounds like cool. you did. We'll be waiting. Uh... I 
dodged. I definitely dodged. <clears throat> Alright, I feel like I'm not supposed to be fighting that. What do you guys think? <laughs> I feel like that was a bit much. Should we try one more time? Maybe I am. Maybe I just need to learn. This is like a first boss or something. Pretty strong. <clears throat> right, let's try some, some rolling and dodging and stuff. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way I'm not supposed to fight it. Dodging at the right time, I guess. Is the key? Okay, cool. Alright. <laughs> I feel really strong now. <laughs> I'm actually really proud of myself. Such a child. Alright, let's go. Is there a quick way back to the ship? There's gotta be, right? Gotta be. Uh, can I climb up here? Woo woo. Hmm. Pretty mysterious. As skeletons go. Oh, we need to go down there. Okay, so down. And then. Can't see anything? Oh, that way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I haven't been this way before. What? I need a save point again. I just killed a boss. <laughs> Beep boop. My friend, it appears the Zepho had some interest in death of you. Strange for such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Hmm. Athamir, okay. I have heard of both of those planets again in some of the interviews done before the game was released. Well, I guess they're my two starting planets. Oh, good. Phew. Don't fall behind, BD1. Need to rest. All right, and then I'm pretty much nearly back. Yes, should be a lot quicker than the way in. Did it? Oh, what's in there? I kind of want to get down here. What is this place? I mean, I might have to solve a little puzzle, but let's try it. Okay. The Jedi used this place to study the sphere above. I can still feel the excitement. So you can increase your maximum force by finding things. That is incredible. Oh, good. All right, perfect. Uh, is there a? Can I investigate the sphere above? Guess not. Can I get up anywhere? 
Okay. Okay, it's just out now. We just need to get out. Okay. Uh, let's... How do I get out? Get back up onto there. I kind of want to try the wall running over this way. Uh, once again, I'm going to save. I know I'm saving way too much. I don't know why I just did that. Uh, come on, let's do it anyway. I don't need to rest to save, right? I just interact with the point. Okay, now let's try a wall run. Not sure what the quickest way back to the uh, the ship would be, but that was a way that I could go, and that would have just brought me up here anyway. It looks like so. Off we go. Oh, hello. Ooh. Uh, dear. Uh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Thank the Lord for save points, obviously. I, I mean, I've got to try that again, right? I can't just have one go and be surprised by something. I need to, to lock onto things quicker. I think that's a definite... Took me a while to sort of select him as a target, I guess. We go down this way. Friend. I'm trying to parry him, it's not quite runs out of block stamina he'll be temporarily stunned all right oh very temporarily though that's good <clears throat> so if he goes to the side he's gonna do a double snap if he comes straight forward it's a single it looks like or is that too too simple if he goes sideways he's gonna do a snap and then another one so I need to dodge twice. At least it's not difficult to get to it. Like, they put this boss fight in a fairly decent place, right? right straight in. There you go. Sideways, so we did two. Great down is one. Sideways to two. Great down is one. I need to stop getting greedy. Stop being greedy. I'm trying to do two attacks in between, but I think I can only fit one in. <clears throat> Maybe I should be using full slow as well. I like how it gives you your experience and stuff back on your first hit, so you're not just, like, if you die to the same boss 20 times, you're not just dumping 20 loads of experience into him. Like just going back and attempting him gets your experience back. It encourages you to, to not give up, I guess, which is great. Very Jedi. Oh, so 
<sighs> so I think my problem now is is realizing when he's in range to hit me. So I I didn't block because I thought he's just gonna miss his first attack anyway because he's not in range. So I can just re respond. Ah. You prefer if the protagonist was not a baby face. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. He's um. I mean, it's not a, not a problem, right? It, the protagonist could be anybody, and it, it wouldn't really change the game. But would it be would it be more annoying if the protagonist was a a Jedi Master, like an old kind of pretentious they get, don't they? So I, I think that'd be more annoying, maybe. But yeah, totally get what you mean. Good timing. Oh. <laughs> no! Stop doing unblockable stuff. Yeah, okay, this is better. Come on. I dodged a tiny bit too early. I should be healing mid-fight, really. I was down to half health. Why don't I heal? Alright, I got this this time. I got this now. If I parry one of his attacks, then I get a good three swings in. A good three combo. <clears throat> You prefer an old man Jedi, yeah. As long as it was one of the ones that's like um it's got the kind of sarcastic touch. That's annoying. Oh, that's different. Ooh, that showed us unblockable a little bit later than I would have liked. Oh, right, okay. Totally messed up a couple of things there. I didn't like how when they've got the kind of glow on them that shows uh, they're holding some of your experience so you'll get it back. You can't... It doesn't show an unblockable attack. I'm pretty sure the animation it did was an unblockable thing, so I dodged. But it didn't show the red glow because it was already showing the yellowy I've got your experience glow, right? Which is interesting. Right, let's go, let's do this. Yeah, there you go, that's unblockable. But obviously didn't show as unblockable. Oh, that was definitely on time. <clears throat> okay, I'm getting worse, and that's not a good sign. Let's, let's shake it off. Shake it off. All right. We got this. We got this. Totally got this. Right? Is it up for a heal? I can't remember. Come here, friend. Oh. Yeah, that one showed a bit late. Yeah, didn't get the double. Like the animation showed a bit late. Yeah, that one too. Ooh. Whoa. Oh 
Come on. Use of force slow. Force slow. Super important. Um, yeah, I might as well use the stim. I should have used it earlier, probably. Alright. We're getting somewhere. Use force powers. Use force powers. Is it trying to defend its family? Oh. Eagle Gaming. Assassin's Creed Jedi. Possibly. Maybe a little bit Assassin's Dark Creed Souls. Jedi? Right? Uh, Scump link was repaired. Oh. Oh, must be repaired to operate. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, phew. All right, we're getting somewhere. How do I get out, though? Oh, okay. Beautiful. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't mess up a jump or something super simple and die. Oh, so I've got to go. Oh, so that was just another way into that cave. All right, fair enough. There's no way I can just get up from there. There we go. Let's do it. All right, let's rest, we'll recover. I don't need to drop down into there again. I did get a skill point though, so maybe it was all worthwhile. Right, so am I going for superior blocking? Defenses are improved, allowing him to take less block stamina damage from incoming attacks. I'm not sure. Like, the main reason I want to use the block is for the, the parry and stagger and stuff. I don't want to be able to hold block for longer. Although it does have its benefits. I should really start using force a bit more, so should we just go for the basic? Yeah, I'm doing it. Increased force. Okay, like it. All right, now we really are just going back to the ship, all right? So let's... <clears throat> I've got to do the wall run. Okay, try not to fall down. Because he would have respawned now, right? Possibly. Uh, is it this way? Is it even this way? Yes, it is. Good. Do I want to go down there? Oh, what? Straight into a wall run. I mean, luckily it kind of does it for you, so... You. Hey, guys. You don't have to worry about me. Here we go. Come on, over here. You passed the test. So you knew about BD1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. <laughs> what does she know it was? Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? Get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! No! Get out of there! Get out! That is BD1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of petroleum mean fabric? Not really. <laughs> oh, I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of four sensitive children. The next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. 
And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A hollow what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. I need more of her story. I need to know why she isn't currently a Jedi. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zeppo homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. <laughs> Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. Uh, How come you're no longer a Jedi? Yes, thank you. I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. Death Mirror Zepho. It's your choice. So <clears throat> the way that she phrased that kind of makes it seem like a a dark side experience. I don't know if you if you're supposed to think that maybe. I'm busy. I gotta figure out what to cook next. I don't know. Alright. Can I talk to her first? Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes, but instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. Mm. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay, I'll keep trying. All right, fair enough. So let's have a quick look. At the planets then. I mean Zepho seems like an obvious option. Bugano, what's that? Dathomir, Zepho. So nothing is is really hinting to go one way or the other, but because of some research I've done, I should go to Zepho. Right? And that is sort of where the main objective is, so it I mean, yeah, why not? Why wouldn't you? Wait, how do I travel? X. Let's do it. <clears throat> like what? What? What is that thing saying? I don't know why people have droids. <laughs> Tell that to him. He can understand you. He can? Look, I, I didn't mean anything. <laughs> droids just freak me out. What doesn't? You sound like an M. They deactivate droids just because they can. That makes him one of us. Oh, well, tough break. I take it back. You're all right, buddy. That was a quick turnaround. Sit down, kid. It's time to land. Oh, okay. Uh... A storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Bubs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of course it's under control. It's just a little tricky. Yeah. 
looks incredible. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. <laughs> Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's going to take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did oh. good work on Bagano. Hold it. I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a uh, friend on Bracco. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone.